The Marine Animal Rescue Program is a program that was started about 16 years ago and it's responsible for responding to uh, marine mammal and sea turtle strandings in Maryland. The program relies uh, very heavily on volunteer assistance. At this time we have about 45 active volunteers. They are responsible for taking care of animals that we may have in-house, um, anything from feeding the animals um, to getting them their medications. The marine mammals that we work with and the sea turtles, many of them are endangered. If we don't do anything about it, these animals may go extinct, may disappear forever. So I felt that this was a way that I could really help out um, with this issue. The adult harbor seal that we released today, we named uh, Hamilton. He originally came from Bermuda. Uh, he stranded there with a monofilament fishing line entanglement around his neck. He was transferred to the National Aquarium in Baltimore on March 24th, where he underwent uh, several months of rehab due to his injuries. He almost tripled his body weight. He came in uh, a little over 50 pounds, and when he was released, he was 139. We were able to release him this time of year um, and we decided to uh, do it from the Delaware Seashore State Park and that there's minimal foot traffic and just a nice quiet beach for us to be able to, to do that. So satellite tag is actually a satellite transmitter. Whenever the animal surfaces, it sends a signal to a satellite. The satellite then um, will send that location back to a computer. We affix the satellite tag to the animal's fur. The thinking is that once the animal um, starts to shed their fur, the satellite tag will eventually fall out. So we don't want the tag to stay with the animal permanently, just for long enough to know that the release was successful. The data that we receive from the tag gets plugged into a mapping program and effectively um, we'll create a tracking map that we post onto the aquarium's webpage and can be tracked by the public. 